What's your favorite side dish? I know what mine is. Let's say it together. Ready? One, two, three. Mashed potatoes. <laughs> Even if you didn't say mashed potatoes, I bet the majority of you did. They are so delicious. The problem with a lot of mashed potatoes though is that they are not flavorful enough. A potato on its own is not super flavorful. So I'm gonna show you how to make the best damn mashed potatoes you've ever had and we're gonna make them in the Instant Pot, so stick around. These mashed potatoes are full of sour cream, cream cheese, butter, fresh garlic, plenty of kosher salt, and all the flavor. You're absolutely gonna love them. What's up everybody? My name is Susie Weinrich and welcome to Mom's Dinner. Here, we help adults feel successful at dinner time. So if that sounds good to you, I would love to have you subscribe and follow along. Like I said in the intro, we are making mashed potatoes that are gonna knock your socks off. So I hope you have an Instant Pot and you can cook along with me. So the very first ingredient that you're gonna need are actually three pounds of russet potatoes. You want a russet potato to make these mashed potatoes. Now, if you like Yukon or red gold or something like that, that's gonna be a different recipe. This recipe calls for russet potatoes. So I'm gonna start by just peeling all of these down and then we're gonna get to cutting them up. But before we cut them up, let me tell you this. I'm gonna share lots of tips and tricks in this, in this episode for you so that you can make the best mashed potatoes you've ever had. You will be the mashed potato person in your family from now on, okay? So a lot of people will ask, how many mashed potatoes do I plan per person? So what you wanna do is just plan on half a pound of the raw potatoes per person. And this recipe calls for three pounds of russet potatoes. So we can plan that that's gonna serve six people. Okay, I got all of those peeled. So now what we wanna do is actually cut the potatoes into about a two or three inch chunk. And so it's gonna depend on how big your potatoes are. These are about a medium sized potato. So I think I can just cut them into quarters and be just fine with about that size. And then we're gonna plop those right down into the Instant Pot. Another tip anytime you're working with potatoes is to have at least one or two extra potatoes on hand because I don't think I have any here today, but in my potato soup video, I'll link that up here, I did have some potatoes that when you cut them open, they had all this terrible brown stuff inside. And when you have an extra potato, then you can toss that one and just keep moving with the extra potatoes that you have. This is also a great recipe for the holidays when you probably are gonna serve mashed potatoes and all of your stovetop and your oven, everything is occupied. It's great to make use of your Instant Pot. All right, we've got all the potatoes in there. So now what we wanna do is take a half cup of water and pour that over the potatoes. And two teaspoons of kosher salt. Then this is the great part. We're gonna pop the lid on, and this is a little fun tip. Did you know that the little side handles, if you have an Instant Pot, which is that brand, the little side handles, the lid fits right in the side handle as a holder, which I love. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna pop that lid on. I'm gonna make sure that the top valve is on seal, and then we're gonna set to just do a pressure cook, and I'm gonna increase the time to 11 minutes and it should beep at me here in just one second. There it goes. That just means that the Instant Pot has accepted our settings. It's going to start to come to pressure. Once it comes to pressure, it will start to count down. It will count down from 11 to zero and then it will start to count back up. And that part is called the natural pressure release. For this recipe, we don't need a natural pressure release. We're actually just going to, at the end of 11 minutes, turn that valve and release all of the steam. All right, time to let the steam go. I'm gonna go ahead and hit cancel and turn this little knob and all the steam is gonna explode out of the Instant Pot. Not really explode, but you know what I mean.
All right, the pin just dropped, all the steam has escaped, so now we're gonna go ahead and open up the Instant Pot, and our potatoes are cooked perfectly. I'm gonna just check them really quick with my fork, and you can see that they are all falling apart, so they are good to go. The nice thing about this recipe is that we only used a half a cup of liquid in the Instant Pot, so there's no need to drain the liquid that's in there, which is great, huge time saver. Now, let's add some flavor to these potatoes. We already salted them with two teaspoons of the salt before we started the cook process. So now we're gonna add a half a cup of sour cream. We're gonna add four tablespoons of salted butter that's slightly softened just so that it melts down and mixes in a little bit better. And finally, this is huge flavor along with the sour cream. We're gonna add in four ounces of softened cream cheese. And before I add this, I am going to lightly cut it into cubes. So again, it mixes better into the mashed potatoes. It's a little bit sticky. All right, now that we've got that stuff added in, we're gonna need to mash the potatoes. So there's a few different ways that you can actually mash potatoes. I'm gonna show you a couple options here. The first one is kind of an old fashioned traditional method just with a potato masher. This is kind of what they are gonna look like. And you basically just go in and mash the potatoes like this. But that is not my preferred method. So we're gonna pop that in the sink. Another method, if you like super creamy mashed potatoes, is you can use this little gadget called a potato ricer. And basically you lift this up, you fill this with potatoes, and then you mash it down and the potatoes come through uh, this little disc that's perforated and you will have no lumps in your mashed potatoes. They'll be super duper creamy. And I actually do like this method, but when everything's in the Instant Pot and it's ready to go, my favorite way is using an old fashioned hand mixer. This is my favorite, favorite way to blend up and mash your potatoes and blend in all the flavor ingredients. So I just used the two traditional beaters. I'm gonna get it plugged in and we are going to mix this up right in the Instant Pot. They are blending up so, so creamy. And I'm gonna set this to the side. We've got two more ingredients that we're gonna add into these mashed potatoes. We're gonna add a little bit of milk, but way less than you think because we added plenty of, you know, that sour cream, the butter, the cream cheese, that's all nice and liquidy. But this is huge flavor. We're gonna add one raw garlic clove that we're gonna mince up. Don't try to sub garlic powder. It will not give you the same flavor. The raw garlic clove gives you such a nice fresh punch of garlic and the heat of the mashed potatoes are gonna cook it enough so it's not like you're crunching down on raw garlic. So I'm gonna go ahead and mince this up and get it added to the pot. And finally, we're gonna add in two tablespoons of milk. All right, now we're gonna do a final mixing. Whoa, mama. <laughs> I literally want to take a spoon with the Instant Pot and just eat the entire pot. These mashed potatoes are amazing. I can smell them and they smell so good. So I'm going to clear the decks here and then we're going to give it a little taste. My mouth is already watering. <laughs> I can't wait to eat this. All right. So delicious. Mmm. They are, they are so, 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 so flavorful. You can taste the sour cream. The cream cheese definitely makes the potatoes nice and thick without being gluey. They're flavorful enough to stand on their own. 
but you could certainly add gravy, say at the holidays, or if you have a roast or a chicken or something, you could add gravy to these mashed potatoes and they would still be wonderful. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm. So if you make any of the recipes here on Mom's Dinner, I hope that this is one of the ones that you choose to make. You will not be disappointed. And if you do make it, I would love to have you in the comments. Let me know how it was and let me know how your family liked it. And let me know if you're the mashed potato person now. <laughs>